is Paul Thomas, Senior Editor with Pharmaceutical Manufacturing and PharmaManufacturing.com. I'm here at Interfex 2009 talking today with Dwayne Sword, and Dwayne is the Vice President for Product Management at Ahura Scientific. Dwayne, thanks for being with us today. Cool. Appreciate it. And Ahura is becoming uh, more and more well known in the industry for materials analysis. Why don't you just give us a little bit of background about uh, your technologies? Sure, so Ahura Scientific, we were founded in 2002. We're a Boston-based firm. We introduced our first product in 2005, which was for chemical identification. Then in 2007, we introduced TrueScan in, uh, to the pharmaceutical industry. And really, what we're trying to offer is something which is rugged, easy to use, equivalent to a bench top, but essentially provides the same accuracy. So portable spectroscopy for people that are not necessarily chemists is really our value proposition. Mm -hmm. And you've had some pretty good success in the industry so far? Yeah, TrueScan has really found a, a really valuable application uh, mm -hmm. for raw material identification uh -huh. all the way through to brand security. So, yeah, we're very proud of how it's being accepted by the industry. Okay, and it's based on Raman spectrometer. It's a Raman spectrometer, and uh, it's a 785 Raman spectrometer with equivalent resolution and uh, spectral range as a bench top. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we have not compromised the instrument in order to make it portable and rugged and indeed one can decontaminate it in bleach and clean it with a wire brush. It's mm -hmm. designed to be mistreated, if you will. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm good at mistreating things, and I've actually never used one of these. You want to show me how it's done? Sure, I'd like you to show me how it's done. Uh, uh, so the, the premise is we've logged into the instrument. Uh, it is a 21 CFR Part 11 compliant instrument. Mm -hmm. So what I've already done is I've logged into the instrument with a password, which is both to provide what level of access and control you have, mm -hmm. but also to make sure that you are trained but this is a laser-based device, a Class 3B laser, and we don't want people to do silly things with it. Mm -hmm. So when we ask you to do the demonstration, we have three different modes of how you would do inspection. Number one, like we show in the diagram, we can put on a nose cone and go through the bag. Or here we have a vial holder, and we also have the ability to go down into a drum. But for the demo that you're going to give me... Yeah, let's put a vial in there. Put a vial in there. So first of all, I'd like you to select Run a Test. Okay. So what we're going to do is do a barcode. So let's select the drum that we're going to identify. So you could maybe run the barcode. And it selects from the method library what is in the library. And it says cyclohexane. And it's found cyclohexane in the instrument. So mm -hmm. I would like to verify that what is in here is cyclohexane. Put it in there. Hit enter. You could put in a batch number, whether we're doing 100% inspection of 150 drums. So mm -hmm. we could put in a number. Here we can just hit enter. Okay. And enter to go. Essentially, it's self calibrating, self configuration, so you don't need to do anything. Okay. There is no need to um, configure the instrument. It really is designed to be point and shoot. Okay, now how long is this going to take? Well, as you saw there, oh, it's pretty there quick. it goes. Yeah. <laughs> so the value Fast proposition already. is identify and release. It's mm -hmm. for the warehouse to really do lean manufacturing to really identify that what is in the drum, what is in the vial, is indeed what it proclaims to be. Here mm -hmm. it's passed. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is give you an example of where it will fail. So let's hit escape. We'll do another test. Go back to the main menu. Let's run the test again. Let's assume that it's cyclohexane, but it's okay. not. Mm -hmm. Hit enter. And hit enter again. Go. Now okay. what it will do, you see the laser is turned on. Mm -hmm. It will take a little longer because what it will realize is that this isn't what we expect it to be. Again, the use model is authentication. Mm -hmm. When it fails, is the operator allowed to determine what is the unknown chemical? Mm -hmm. So I've set you up to be the administrator. You will find out. So if it's not cyclohexane, what is it? And that's what's going to be determined right now. So it's now comparing to what's in the library, mm -hmm. and we'll provide you with that answer. Mm -hmm. Got my fingers crossed. There we go. See how so we're doing. essentially what we also provide is, obviously we have solids and liquids, and we provide full mixtures analysis. So everything is done on board the instrument. Mm -hmm. There is no need to connect it to a computer to do any post uh, analysis. Uh oh, we've, we've failed. We've failed. Yeah. So let's go down to discover. If you hit the down arrow here okay. and hit enter, it says acetaminophen. So you can yeah. go down to acetaminophen. And acetaminophen clearly is not cyclohexane. You can right. open that up. And people like to see the spectrum. They like to see how rich that uh, particular scan was. Mm -hmm. So here people can take this spectrum, this fingerprint, if you will, mm -hmm. and take it offline, put it into a report as to why did it fail? Was it the wrong drum? 
did the operator scan the wrong instrument? Mm -hmm. And really, again, we're trying to quickly resolve identity. And how's the quality of the spectrum? I mean, for, for a Raman expert, what would they... What so people like this? to know what's the resolution, what's the range. So we basically will provide them the full specification. It's 250 uh, centimeter, uh, 250 centimeter to 2875 with a two wave number resolution, which is equivalent to many bench tops. So for a Roman spectrometer that's in the palm of your hand that can be dropped and decontaminated at the loading dock is pretty unique. Mm -hmm. What about other places besides the loading dock? I mean, uh, so besides the loading dock, we have customers that are using it during the the PAT cycle, which is during the full production. So it could be during mixing and blending. Mm -hmm. It could be at what we call the at line. So mm -hmm. it could take a sample during that production process, take a small sample and look at the quality and the mixing and the blending of that pre-formulated product. So mm -hmm. then we also go all the way to final products. We can mm -hmm. actually identify and authenticate whether this is what this tablet proclaims to be, which mm -hmm. I won't name the, the name of the vendor. Uh -huh. But is it counterfeit? or has the API degraded, so we can go right from the white powder uh -huh. all the way to the final product to authenticate if it is what it indeed proclaims to be. And this is all non-contact testing? Roman spectroscopy, the beauty of it, we can go through 35 layers of polyethylene black bag, we can go through translucent glass, plastic and vials, no contamination, no contact, no need for hazardous materials and wastage. So. And you've also, you've also introduced an FTIR. We uh, have. Machine. Do you want to show us that? Sure. So, obviously, for those uh, that are familiar, Roman spectroscopy provides excellent coverage for pharmaceuticals from API, excipients, coatings, and, and flavorings. However, it's about 85 to 90% coverage by compound. So, mm -hmm. it's not 100%. We cannot mm -hmm. identify everything as much as we'd like to. There's a fundamental limit. So, we've introduced the uh, True Defender FT. Mm -hmm. This is actually the world's smallest FTIR mm -hmm. instrument. Oh. Dwayne, you've dropped it. I know. It also happens to be oh. military rugged, uh, just as TrueScan is. Again, yeah. it's in the loading dock. It's going to happen. Uh -huh. the, the loading dock operator cannot operate the unit like a, a delicate instrument. Uh -huh. So this is an FTIR instrument. Now, the FTIR is used, uh, for those familiar with FTIR, Fourier Transform Infrared, you require contact. You can either put liquid on the tip here, it's an mm -hmm. ATR diamond tip, or you can put samples at the uh, the, uh, the sample holder here, and just like your iPhone, we can put it in and turn around the screen and run a test as we would. Instead of point and shoot, mm -hmm. here it's press and shoot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's our FTIR. And this is predominantly being used right now by the counterfeit teams, where they don't really need the 21 CFR compliance. Mm -hmm. They want full material coverage to identify and authenticate whether they indeed have malicious activity on their product or any brand security issues. So they really might take this out in the field. They could really, literally take it anywhere in the world. Literally take any... it to the field, take mm -hmm. it to a customs location, take mm -hmm. it to a clinic, take it to an over-the-counter and inspect their products, mm -hmm. absolutely. And this is fairly new, but what are you hearing from, from the first few customers that you've had? Uh, so in brand security, they love it. Again, mm -hmm. it's providing the same kind of resolution they can get in their benchtop spectrometer. Mm -hmm. uh, they love the fact that they can take this anywhere they want, literally. Mm -hmm. It's a little larger than your pocket, but it's certainly fairly easy to carry around. Mm -hmm. And they want the spectrum. They'll take that spectrum and take it offline for detailed analysis. And they'll mm -hmm. use standard packages such as grams to do that. Mm -hmm. So the portability, the ruggedness, yet the same accuracy and resolution is what they really value. Okay. And then uh, how how does the data get offline? Where do you, how do you transfer, transfer yeah, we the have data? Just the ability just to, to pop off the back here. We have a USB connection, connect it to your PC and email it to anyone you like. Okay. And with TrueScan, we have the same ability. We can build methods on here, very robust methods. Mm -hmm. And you can build it on one TrueScan and you can email it to your colleagues that are in another part of the world. And you can have those same methods for your company built on one unit and transferred to any unit. It's an electronic signature that can be transferred very simply. Great tool. So Dwayne Sword with the Hura Scientific. Thanks so much for talking with us Thank today. You. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you.